Hi, Brad Blanks, and I've got Mickey Sudo. How are you, Mickey? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. All right. So you didn't compete last year. You actually had a baby. You, you... I did. I feel like that was the only acceptable reason to, to sit out of the Nathan's competition. Right, so you're ready to go. How's the preparation been? I was back on the competition circuit, uh, not even two months after giving birth. And actually it was a wing eating competition. So thankfully it wasn't so much capacity based, but you know, it was still winning my first contest back was, uh, was a huge confidence booster. And I think it kind of silenced the critics who thought that I might be uh, done for good. But yeah, motherhood can't stop you. I mean, yeah, you know, like the thing is a lot of people ask me, you know, how are you gonna, how are you gonna compete after taking, you know, two years off? Um, even though it's, it, I didn't take two full years off, but I, I haven't competed at Nathan since uh, 2020, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, to that I say, like, Adele took, what, five, six years off and had a baby and came back better than ever. So, you know what, like, I think a, a lot of what I do is, um, it's like uh, there's an innate component to it. It's not necessarily practice and, and preparation and all that. I think part of what I do and part of my talent is, like, I was kind of born with it, right? So it's like, I could probably practice singing for years and years and years, and I would never sound great like Adele. She probably was born with a beautiful voice. And so like competitive eating is my talent. I was probably born with some of this and uh, you know, I plan to come back uh, just as strong as ever. I would love to see Adele eat hot dogs like you. <laughs> Gosh, you know, she seems like such a down to earth, you know, good natured person who doesn't mind laughing at herself once in a while. I really wouldn't put it, it wouldn't put it past her to just like give it a go, but. Uh, how does it go, you know, against your husband these days, you know, that he knows he has this shining light of competitive eat, eating laying down next to him every night in bed? Oh, my gosh. He has such a self-deprecating sense of humor. I mean, he'll call himself, like, the bridesmaid or it's like dating the prom queen or this, that, and the other. But, um, you know, we both, we push each other to do our very best. So I think at the end of the day, we're, we're thankful to have one another. You know, with that said, we're very, very competitive and uh, we don't want to, we want to see the other person do well, but we still want to beat that person. Right. And, and uh, it's funny because we've gone back and forth, like he's beaten me by half a bratwurst. I've beaten him by one street taco, which is like a, an ounce and a half or something. I, I mean, we tied at two of the most recent events. So, I mean, hot dogs, I think even our, our odds, our Vegas odds are very, very close to one another. Wow. All right. This is going to be good to watch. So I've got to check out the Vegas odds. That, that's exciting. <laughs> have you, as a family, have you, uh, you know, unsuspectingly cleaned out any buffets at restaurants in, in Florida lately, just on a casual okay. night? You know, uh, not so much. I think we're, we're generally well behaved. But, you know, when you start to uh, when you're at a buffet and the servers start to give you your Diet Coke refills and to go cups, you kind of get the impression that they want you to move along. So, uh, you know, I mean, people have been uh, generally receptive, but uh, to the point. Um, is your child an eater? He's got a very healthy appetite. Uh, he's actually in the 99th percentile in terms of height, but uh, he's, a, he's a very healthy weight. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy that my baby's happy and healthy. And uh, yep, so far, no, nothing no, out of the ordinary. No early signals that, you know, one day this child could become a legend of... <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no warning signals yet. I mean, we're going to encourage him to do anything and be anything he wants, uh, but competitive eating and uh, bodybuilding. Uh, Nick used to be a competitive bodybuilder or bodybuilder. Uh, so those two things are kind of off the table. <laughs> really? Off the table? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I think when you're so closely tied to something, you see like the good, bad, and the ugly of anything. And, you know, I, I think, you know, thankfully, he's probably going to look at what we do and just think that we're weird and not want to be like his parents anyway. <laughs> Oh, that's gold. That's gold. All right. Well, in final words, let's get it. What do you think you can do on the big day for the Nathan's hot dog eating contest July 4th? Okay. So uh, in terms of capacity, I know that I can do 50, right? Because my, my personal record is 48 and a half. Um, but like, why stop at 49 and beat that? I'd just like to get an even 50 because even only a handful of, I don't even think a handful of men have done that. Um, I have to go back and check, but I, I maybe like four guys have done that five. Anyway, um, so I'd like to do that, but I, I injured my wrist not too long ago. I think I pinched a nerve or something. Yeah, I know, it, which, which sounds a lot more like serious than it actually is. Um, we'll see. But right now, my, my left hand is uh, it's, uh, largely out of commission. So I'm going to be eating hot dogs with one hand. Uh, but with that said, practice has been going all right. I think I'll still pull it off. Um, you know, 
I'm sure you probably eat hot dogs with one hand like the rest of the world. So if you guys can all do it, so can I. I'm just going to have to do it a little bit faster. Wow. You're under an injury cloud. Mickey Sudo, this is big. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of pressure in a weird way. Like my, my hand was bandaged uh, or it was taped up for my uh, most recent contest. But I don't think even a lot of people know that I'm dealing with a, a little bit of a setback. But, you know, I, I don't know. It's just a distraction. I'll be all right. All right. Well, uh, we're going to be cheering you on. We love what you do. You're a legend of hot dog eating, food eating in general. Mickey Sudo. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank <laughs> you.